Okay, so in this video, I'll take you through how to create events. So in the event editor window, down the bottom left corner, there's a little button that says new event. If we click that, we can either go new 3D event or new 2D event. I'm gonna go 3D event. Let's just call this player. In the center of your screen, you'll notice that it automatically creates one audio track and a master track. Down the bottom, because I've created a 3D event, it gives me a 3D panel. And over on the right, it will give me a 3D preview. Now, if we create a 2D event, and we can also do this by right-clicking in the Events tab, I'll go New 2D Event. I'll call this Music. I'll spell that correctly. There we go. And it creates the same thing, just without the preview or the 3D panel. Now, the other thing we can do is organize these into folders. So I can go New Folder down the bottom. And let's, I'll call this player as well. And I can drag that event into the folder and that'll be organized in there. The other thing I can do is right click on an event and go move into new folder. That way we can also move folders into other folders and vice versa. The other thing to note when creating events is that when you first create them, it'll have a hashtag saying unassigned. What this is referring to is that it hasn't been assigned to a bank yet. So since I'm only working on smaller games at the moment, I don't really worry about this because in smaller games, you don't have to worry about assigning things to multiple banks. So I usually just highlight my events, right click them, say assign to bank and choose master bank and all done.